what's up guys today we're gonna be doing a little farewell video farewell to omg boost now this has been my wife's car for i guess maybe six years or so is when we bought it from jonathan it's been through a couple setups you know got her into drag racing it's been pretty fast her best time was a 537 and a best speed of 131 to the eighth mile but life changes her main interest since she was a little girl has been into horses not horsepower but horses so this car has been tore down for like three years you know it took us forever to get my car together we had a bunch of parts bought for hers but the reality is we don't have time to race either one which is our life circumstances we got going on uh let alone two at the same time so one thing led to another you know she was at a horse clinic recently and got the opportunity to purchase a really well-trained reining horse through one of her uh, friends that's a child that's a trainer so she suggested selling the setup getting the horse and that's what we did so it worked out pretty good as far as making the sale we had a customer named uh, mickey he lives in colorado he was bringing us a car to have uh, a cage a front end kit a couple a couple little simple chassis things done he's got some family that lives here local and he was going to bring us the car when he come and visit family leave it and then come back visit family again and pick it up well he's seen the car for sale and he figured since the car was a lot further along than what his roller that he had was that it would just benefit him to buy this and start with this and that way he'd be many many steps ahead so when he come and looked at it <coughs> excuse me we agreed to go ahead and finish we had already started trying to put the 25.5 in this car we went ahead and finished that out for him and we had already cut part of the firewall as well and we went ahead and finished that out and i told him we would put some bars out the front just so he could kind of get a start on doing something in the front so he's got a nice clean slate to start out with for him and his son which this project will be mainly for so i'll just walk you around kind of what we have done to it So this has got our front end kit or the start of it, our frame bars, and then these are bars that we made here coming from the A-pillars. This is a Midwest chassis firewall. Actually, I think it's the bottom part is their piece and the top part we actually made because uh, we didn't have that part, we just had some random pieces where we've had to remake some things in the past i think the last customer that was here we had to remake the bottom part because he cut too much of his firewall so we had that piece left over but we had to make all these pieces on the top i think i actually had this radius piece left over in the back as well so we had the stuff kind of to to start going and yes my arm is broke so that's another long story i fell off a ladder like an old person the first time in my life and broke my arm so bad i might have to have surgery so unfortunately it don't look like i'm gonna be racing for months and months so that's got me kind of wound up back to this this is our 25.5 high and tight that we sell on our website i've done many videos on this but her top was already cut and all the main bars we had already started to install on this cage so we just finished installing all the all the bars i can't open the door with my hand but see the doors are gutted i've done the video on the lift off door hinges so all that's already done this Midwest chassis stuff that's in the front, this car did have the setup that come off of Jonathan's car, the Ripper, sitting over there. 
but I had somebody that wanted that set up uh, worse worse than Mickey did. Well, Mickey had already bought the Midwest chassis stuff and already had it here basically at his, our, at his house. So he shipped us all the stuff he had and just told us to put all this stuff in the car because this car has all the Midwest chassis rear suspension stuff. It's got the Fab 9 rear, it's got the anti-roll bar, it's got uh, their lower control arms, basically everything. So Midwest chassis front to back on the suspension on this car now. And of course I was able to sell everything that was on the front of the car and just credit him, you know, towards the, the purchase of this. He also uh, brought the steering column to put in there. We went ahead and put everything back on the car, the parachute mount. But it all worked out, and now Mickey has something that is gonna be uh, a few steps, well, actually many steps ahead of what the Camaro that he originally was gonna build uh, would have been. And that saves him money, saves him time, and it also worked out that we could get the car to somebody that's actually gonna finish it and use it the way it was built. So sad to see it go. Lauren doesn't, she's not really a person that likes change. So even though she suggested that we sell the car and her interest kind of move on to getting that horse, it still doesn't make it any easier for her. So I figured I would just do kind of a farewell video and we just kind of rehash some of the history of this car and what she's done in it and uh, maybe show some of the videos from the track and some videos from maybe the build or whatever I can dig up here at the end of this video. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, let's never forget OMG Boost. See you guys. Hey guys, I'm Lauren. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I am Steven's wife. Um, I'm out here in what used to be um, old Rock Solid Motorsports. This is where Rock Solid Motorsports got started. Was out here in this shop. Um, whenever I decided to get back into horses, we turned it back into a barn. <laughs> As you can hear, all the farm animals. Um, so, real quickly, um, I just wanted to say that um, Stephen had surgery. Um, most of y'all know that he did fall off of a ladder and break his arm. Um, that was this past Friday, um, and he had surgery yesterday to fix his arm. He has a plate and um, 13 screws um, in his, um, well, it's really his wrist. But anyway, so he's recovering from that. Surgery went um, really well, um, so hopefully he'll just be a good patient and um, do what the doctor tells him to do for the next six weeks so he doesn't have any um, complications. Um, so, Stephen said a little bit about, um, you know, us selling OMG Boost and, um, you know, the, the process with it and everything and who bought it. Um, but I wanted to say just a few words um, about that whole uh, scenario situation. Um, first off, I wanted to introduce you to my other hobby, which is my horses. <laughs> and... She being a little bit shy, but this is Ellie. This is my Ellie girl. Um, she would what what you would consider my street car. <laughs> she's my street horse. <laughs> um, and she's my everything horse. I can do pretty much anything I want to do on her. Um, um, so I take her to shows, you know, I go trail riding with her, pretty much anything that I want to do, she's going to do it for me and she's going to do it willingly and to the best of her ability. So, um, I've had her about, uh, two and a half years now. I really love her. She's a great horse. Um, she just, she could not take me to the next level of where I wanted to go with my riding. Um, and this is Shane. <laughs> 
He's a very sweet boy. Too. He's very affectionate, very sweet boy. Um, so that's where it kind of brings me, I know Ellen. That's where it kind of brings me to talking about um, how the opportunity presented itself for me to sell OMG Boost. Um, <clears throat> I went to a clinic back in March, or I think it was March. Went to a clinic back in March. Um, one of my friends had Shane. Um, he is a reining horse. He is a finished reining horse. Um, and he was telling me that he was going to sell him. And I met Shane um, the year previous, I think, at another clinic. And I really liked him. Really fell in love with him. Um, he was a really awesome horse. Um, and so whenever this gentleman told me that he was going to sell Shane, um, I came home and was talking to Stephen about it. And... Um, you know, I was just telling him that I'd really like to, to buy him um, because I really feel like he could take me to the next level as far as my riding goes. And so we talked about it a lot. We really had a heart to heart about it. Um, I told Stephen to be honest with me about the car. I said, are we talking months or years here as far as when OMG Boost could be finished? Um, and he said, at this point, we're talking years, um, which was hard for me to hear but I appreciated him being honest. Um, just because of where the business is now um, and at the level that it is, there's not a whole lot of time for um, personal cars or hobbies for that matter. Um, so everybody knows with racing that once you get to a certain level, um, it takes a team to actually go out there and perform and perform well. Um, and now that Duhost is finished, um, we have really been putting a lot of our time and effort into that car and, um, you know, getting it to the level that it needs to be. Um, the guys have been, the guys at the shop have been really good to us. You know, they, they really help out a lot. They come to the track, um, help us with Duhost. And I know that for me personally, it would not be fair to Steven or the guys at the shop to ask them to do that for a second car. Um, and that is if we even could do that for a second car. Um, Steven just does not have the time anymore that he once had. Um, he is operating not one, but two businesses now. Um, his time is very limited and I knew it in my heart the last time that we tore down OMG Boost that that was probably going to be the last time. Um, so it was really hard for me. Um, I, I am not a person that likes change. I like everything to stay exactly the same all the time. I'm a creature of habit. I love routine. Um, so that was very hard for me. But like I said, I just I knew in my heart that whenever we tore OMG Boost down for the last time, that that was going to be the last time. Because um, it took many years to get Duhas back together, and I knew that that was probably going to be the fate of OMG Boost as well. Um, now, in saying that, with my horses, they are my horses. I don't need anybody else to help me. I hook my trailer up. I go to the shows by myself. I'm completely capable of doing all of that alone um and so and so it just made sense at the time um for me to sell my car and put all of my efforts into um bettering my riding capabilities um that does not dismiss the fact that it does not dismiss the fact that to sell my sorry to sell my car it leaves a great void in me um omg boost is responsible for a lot of the confidence that i have today as a human being um I, I lost myself and I found myself all at the same time and racing and piloting that car was a huge part of that 
Um, I love racing. I do. I love cars. I love the atmosphere. I love our racing friends. Um, it's a lot to let go of for me. It's a big change. And I would be lying to you if I did not say that every time I think of my car going to a new owner, it makes me almost physically sick. But the joy that it will bring me to watch that car help somebody else in their racing and to get the same enjoyment that I got out of it for so many years. Oh, sorry. I'm excited to see what the new owner will do with the car. I'm excited to see what I might be able to do with Shane. But I just want to thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart for every, everybody that followed and cheered me on and pepped me up and sponsored me. I had a lot of sponsors. Um, that means the absolute world to me and you will never ever know what it did for me in my life to have a racing community behind you. I like to be optimistic and say that it's not forever. Um, I like to think that maybe one day I will race again and have another car again. I don't know if it'll ever happen, but I like to be optimistic anyways. Um, but thank y'all so much. Thank y'all for supporting Steven and his business. Thank you for following along with our crazy racing journey and crazy busy life. It's a wild ride, but I'm glad that, you know, we have the, the community and the foundation behind us. So thank y'all all so much. Wipe, wipe, wipe it down. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Wipe it down, wipe, 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 wipe it down.